going on? How y'all doing? So I got to give my thoughts and takes about that LA Clipper Dallas Mavericks basketball conclusion, some observations. The Clippers won in seven games and it helped Kawhi Leonard because his legacy is on the line. Paul George's legacy is on the line. There's a lot going on. Tyron Lue, you know, made a big choice with putting Patrick Beverly down and put some Reggie Jackson. You got to get some scoring. You got to get some shooting. So they came up big. They should win, but they sometimes lax and they had those laps. I'm going to tell you something about the, the L.A. Clippers. They they play around. They could go to the finals. Being real, they should be playing Brooklyn in the finals. I'm going to be real. I'm going to keep it 100. They're the only team out west that you could actually put money on, talent-wise, instruction. If they just play focus, they can come out the west. I'm not betting on Utah and Phoenix and Denver. I'm sorry. Just ain't feeling them like that. And I, 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 I um, you know, I'm looking at the West like that. I'm like, come on now. This is the Clippers. This is the Clippers time to do it. I think Phoenix is a couple years and another piece away. I think that Utah, if Utah had another score, it's just a shame you couldn't clone to uh you can't clone Carl Malone and bring him to back to the future to the future, because that's what they're missing. A guy who could just take over. And if you ask me about Phoenix. Phoenix has somebody like a modernized Kevin Johnson, somebody who could just have a motor, you know, somebody who could score like that. Oh, they would be they they'd be deadly. They're missing that kind of player that could score, you know, that kind of dude. Utah and Phoenix, I'm not quite there with them. In Denver, I was funny. I was watching old footage of Madu Raul. That's exactly what they need. I'm not gonna diss Jamal Murray, but Madu Raul was Steph Curry before Steph, but uh, but more of an inner, not as deep as Steph. But you had a cat like that, like him or Alex English, somebody who could just score points like crazy for Denver with what with Jokic and then Jamal Murray, they would be scary. But anyway, let me get back to Dallas. Yes, the powers that be want Luca, the white face, to be the him and Trey Young, who got traded for each other. They want them to be the updated magic and bird. And Zion Zion Williamson is sandwiched between. The problem. Well, what Lucas got is that Rick Carlisle is losing it as a coach. He's Brad Stevens, but with the jewelry, but he ain't done one nothing in 10 years. I don't know how much pass you're going to get for that ring. I don't know. Mark Cuban is very loyal, but not that loyal. I don't know. Pazingas is the elephant in the room. He is. I'm going to tell you about Pazingas. He can play like a top tier player, but he's more relegated as a second tier player. And if you're trying to win a chip, He's a third. He's the third man. He's third on the pole. You need a legit second dude. If I was Dallas, you either got to get you a, and he can't come from my team, but you'd have to get you a Jimmy Butler type to play with Luka because you need some toughness in there and somebody who could score. Or you need to get, who could I pick on? It's too bad you can't update clone Michael Finley. That's the kind of guy that could fit right between Luka and Pazingas. You know, because they just a, they just a tad bit too tender in the cakes and they're missing that. And that's what's hurting them. They don't play defense and they get short sighted and they always come up just a tad bit short. But I'm telling you, Luca got skills, but he needs a real second tier cat or he needs a, um, you know, he needs somebody that will, you know, offset with his thing. Or they're going to keep on being a first round casualty. But I'm going to tell you something. The NBA would love for him to get his Larry Bird on, you know. And, you know, if you're the Lakers, I will tell you something. Somebody will make a pitch to trade him for everything or something because he's got potential. He's not no baby Larry Bird, so stop this, but he's got a chance to be a baby Dirk. And let me tell you, Dirk was great. Dirk wasn't Larry Bird, but if you can get compared to Dirk, starting off as a young Dirk, that's a great compliment. But to be Larry Bird, you got you to gotta be able to take it to next gear, and I ain't sold on him yet like that. But the Clippers was a big one. Clippers are a strange team, yo. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. They, they're the one team that can be disappointed, and they could end up in the finals. They could easily come out the West. I just think that they got, you know, I'm more sold on them. Uh, I'm not really Phoenix, Denver, Utah, not quite. They're good. And I do think Utah is going to be Donovan. If Donovan Mitchell can come up big, 
don't sleep on them because I like the way they're coached. I think I think they're coached really well. I think they got a they got a lot going on. I just think they need another score. That's the only thing. If they had somebody, like I said, like a Carmelo, you had somebody who could come up and just score with that squad, they would be unbeatable. It's a shame that Carl Malone came out when he did because if Carl Malone was playing with this Utah team right now, I could see them going straight five years straight in the West. And if I had to look at Denver, same thing with my du Raul, I just look at certain situations and I think, man, if you could just play GM and you could do past, present, you could mix it up and things, you could see some things that would just definitely unfold. But I will say this right now, um, you know, that's the thing I see with Dallas. They got to get a legit, 1B or a real second sidekick to play with Luca to make Pazingas the third wheel. They can't have Pazingas the second wheel because he's just too clumsy, he's too soft, and he thinks he's a foot shorter than he is. He doesn't want to play big. You know, he has Anthony Davis syndrome in that regard. You know, AD will come up big when he has to, but AD, these guys, a lot of these big guys now don't want to be in the trenches, don't want to pound, don't want to grind. They want to shoot fluffy shots and fade away. You know, finger rolling, 20-foot finger rolls, curling like they George Iceman, like they just fingering, like they, you know, touching their fingers and saying so. Anyway, that's my final takes and thoughts about the Clippers and the Mavericks. Please hit the like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I will respond. Thank you. And Kawhi Leonard is one of the best. He's frustrated, but I'm going to tell you about Kawhi. When Kawhi plays like he did these last two games, he belonged in the same conversation with LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and whoever you think is top going right now, James Harden, whoever you think. But when he has those eh kind of games and he kind of eh, then you forget that he, you, you, then you put him in bottom 10. But when he balling like he balled the last two games, oh yeah, he because especially in the postseason, he is something. I'm out.